Monday night, the Capital Area Humane Society took in 10 beagles of 4,000 that were rescued from a breeding facility in Virginia. Now these 10 pups are being fostered right here in mid-Michigan, getting used to their newfound freedom. And one of those pups is this one right here. Meet Willow. Uh, I am at that point to where I'm like you, I've only known you for 24 hours and you already have a piece of my heart. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good potential to be a foster fail. Willow is two and a half years old and her first time walking on grass was just this past Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> that was one of the funny parts of yesterday um, because it was kind of uh, like a dog when they first see snow. You know, when there's puppies and the first time they see snow, it kind of, they stop. But then all of a sudden she was like, Oh, what's this? Because for Willow and the other 4,000 beagles that were saved from Invigo, their lives before this were only meant for one thing, breeding. Their puppies sent to labs that test on animals. They've never sat in a lab before. They've never been cuddled and given toys and shown love. When the Capital Area Humane Society got the call, even though they didn't have the space at the shelter, they knew they had to help. Maine Society of the United States reached out to our shelter because we are one of their transfer partners and they just said, you know, we have 4,000 beagles that we need to get out of this mass breeding facility. Is there any way that you can take some of them? And of course, this is a challenging time for us is we have some major construction going on, but we knew that this was a massive effort to get these beagles out of the facility. The 10 pups arrived to the Humane Society Monday night. We all spent a lot of time. There were uh, five of us, and so between the 10 dogs, we just kept moving from dog kennel to dog kennel, you know, saying hi, trying to coax them out, and just trying to give them a little bit of uh, love and affection that they probably weren't getting too much of in their previous place. The Humane Society put out a call for fosters and they didn't have to wait long. By Tuesday, each pup had a home. We actually had a lot of people that we had to turn away and say, thank you so much for offering. We found our 10 foster homes. Which brings us back to Levi and Willow. Her temperament, you know, she's extremely skittish right now, but that's just because of the situation that she was in. The Beagles will be fostered for a few weeks to allow them to become acclimated to life as a normal dog. Then, as long as the foster families don't all decide to keep them, they will be spayed and ready to be adopted. Reporting, this is Levi and Willow, and I'm Lauren Shields, Fox 47 News.